for tuning in to Fellowship with the Doorman. I am your host, Evangelist Ed Henry Jr. It's only what's done for Christ will last. All of your worldly gains will soon, soon be past. Jesus Christ died on the cross for our sins, for my sins. We have to impress God, and the only way that we impress God is, is by asking Jesus Christ, His Son, His Son, to come in to our hearts. Speak to the audience out there. You know, they are all door men and door women. Thanks for tuning in today to Fellowship with the Doorman. I am your host, Evangelist Ed Henry Jr. I'm excited again. Hallelujah. We should all be excited because of God's grace and His mercy. Uh, if I wasn't excited, I would wonder what was wrong with me. But I, I know that I'm dealing with God, being obedient, doing what He would have me to do. Uh, we're going to get started here first, but let's go to the throne with the word of prayer. Father God, in the name of your loving Son and our Savior, Jesus Christ, I thank you, Father. I praise you, God. Thank you, Father, for this privilege, this privilege, Father, that you give me to glorify you. I ask you, God, to give me words today, Father, to minister to my brothers and sisters, God, and bless me, God, to minister first to Ed Henry. I ask you, God, to move Ed Henry out of the way. And I love you, Father God. I thank you. I fear you, God. I praise you. We thank you, God, for your grace and your mercy. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, for this day. This is the day the Lord has made, and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. Rejoice. Be grateful. Be thankful. Thank you, Jesus. You know, just shout all over the place. You don't have to have a... Uh, a reason for what God is doing something for you right then because he's always doing something for you every breath that you take he's doing something for you and it's not old to you I understand that I hope you do hallelujah if you don't know him you better get to know him I urge you amen I wouldn't be called dead without Jesus in my life hallelujah hallelujah we're going to the throne uh, to God's word we're going to Colossians, the third chapter, the first verse. And it reads, If ye then be risen with Christ, seek those things which are above, where Christ sitteth on the right hand of God. Set your affections, uh, set your affections uh, you know, when you like something, it affects you spiritually, mentally. But set your affections, amen, on things above, not on things on the earth. For ye are dead, and your life is hid with Christ in Jesus, amen. When Christ, who is our life, shall appear, then shall ye also appear with him in glory, Amen. And I'm going to the uh, 16th verse, and that reads, Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly. Let it dwell in you. Let it consume you. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly. Amen. In all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing with grace in your heart to the Lord. And whatsoever you do, whatsoever you do, I'm excited just to be saying that, but this is God's word. This is Colossians, the third chapter, and the 17th verse. And whatsoever you do, if you walk in, if you're talking, uh, if you're chewing gum, whatsoever you do, be grateful, be thankful. And whatsoever you do, in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God 
and the Father by him. Amen. Whatsoever you do. Backing up to the first verse, he said, If ye then, who is ye? Who is ye? That's you. And if you claim that you're risen, amen, and if you claim that you're risen, that you know Jesus Christ, he said, And then, if ye then be risen, seek those things which are above, where Christ sitteth on the right hand of God. Amen. If ye then are risen, if you know Jesus Christ, whatever you do, in word or deed, whatever you do, uh, you claim to be a Christian, you say you're a Christian, well, you have to live like a Christian. And it said, if you then be risen, he tells us to seek those things which are above. Uh, change your mind. God will give you a change of mind of the things that you normally do. You are a new person. Brand new person. Seek those things which are above. I can only speak for myself. I know what he does. I know what he's done for me. I know he changed me. He changed me from the old Ed Henry that I was. Uh, because as you heard me say, I was on the way to hell and enjoying the trip. Man, I was having a ball, I thought. But I was deceived. I was deceived by Satan. Now I have a new mind. If you know Jesus Christ, you should seek those things which are above. Let everything that you do with your brother and your sister, when you speak to them, tell them who you are. I'm a child of God. And God changed me. He changed me. He will do it if you trust in him. He said, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not unto your own understanding. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not to your own understanding. Amen. God is so good to us. Amen. He said, if ye then, if you then be risen with Christ, you're risen with Christ. Amen. With Jesus Christ. Seek those things which are above where Christ sitteth on the right hand of God. It said, set your affections on things above, not on things on the earth. Set your affection. You know how it is. You know God blesses us so much. He's told us, you know, that the cattle on the, on the hill, all of this belongs to his children. Amen. All of this belongs to his children. And God told us that he would supply all of our needs according to his riches in glory through Christ Jesus. Amen. And if you believe that he tells you to set your mind on good things. Amen. Set your mind on making a difference. Set your mind on making a difference to your fellow man. Because it's not about you. Once you're saved, God gives you a calling. He's given you a calling to go out to make disciples. Tell somebody about it. My brothers and sisters, if you don't know Jesus Christ... Now is the time. Now is the time. Now is the time. It's late. You see what's going on here. All around the land, this virus, it's going on. People are caught up. No matter how much money you got, or where you live, uh, what house you live in, it doesn't matter. If you got boats, ships, and planes, you're all under the same commitment. You better put that mask on, my brothers and sisters, and you better pray. Pray. Amen. God tells you to pray. To pray to seek you, the Lord, while he may be found. Call on him while he's near. Seek the things that are above. Amen. God will give you what's in your heart. Pray. I know God has been good to me. I can't speak for you. But I know what he's done for me and what he's doing for me each and every day. It's about love. It's all about love, my brothers and sisters. It's about love. Seek those things which are above and not the things that control you down here. He wants us to have a nice house, uh, a nice car. He wants you to be comfortable. I know he's taking care of me. He's, uh, me. he's blessed me. And I tell the whole world, I wouldn't be called dead without Jesus in my life. 
I would not be caught dead without Jesus in your life because if you do, you got a problem. You got an eternal problem. You got an eternal problem, my brothers and sisters. And whatsoever you do in word or deed, whatever you do, I'm excited here today. I'm about to jump out of this place. But whatever you do in word or deed, amen, do all in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. And if, if you profess to be a Christian, I'm talking to you Christians out here now. I'm talking to you lost brothers and sisters. If you don't know him, call on him. Call on him, amen. 1 Timothy 6, chapter 12, verse tells us to fight. The good fight of faith. Fight the good fight of faith. Lay hold on eternal life. For when you are also called. And has professed a good profession. Before men and witnesses. Fight the good, good fight of faith. Uh, if you know him. You have faith. Faith comes by hearing. And hearing by the word of God. Amen. Faith comes by hearing and studying. Study God's word. Amen. Ask the Holy Spirit. He's your keeper. 1 John 5, 7 says there are three that bear record in heaven. Three. Amen. Whatever your hand you put it on, he says three that bear record in heaven. Amen. The Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost. Amen. And the Holy Ghost is your power. He's your keeper. Saints, you have power. That you're not calling on the Holy Ghost. He's there for you. Call on him. Whatsoever you do. Call on him. I urge you to please continue to support Fellowship with the Door. Man, I love you for your call in and for your support. Help us to take God's word throughout the land. Uh, if you want to call for counseling or for engagements. Amen. The number is 313 477 7357. 313-477-7357. Fellowship with the door, man. Amen. Hallelujah. Seek those things which are above that have eternal meaning. Uh, those people that have everything, they got all that stuff. They they can't take it with them. Amen. They cannot take whatever they got with them. Amen. Because it's not eternal. Regardless of what you have on this land, you can't take it with you. And if you claim that you know Jesus Christ, amen, God tells us to let us hold the profession of our faith without wavering. For he is faithful and just. He tells you to hold that profession. Do you profess to be a Christian? Amen. Or uh, do you profess to be lost? Or uh, do you profess to, to uh, be, I don't know where I'm at, amen? Uh, the title of this message, the title of this message, my brothers and sisters, are, Are You All In? Are you all in? God cannot use you. Strap in the fence now. Uh, you have to be all in. Remember when we were children and, and our, our parents, they said, uh, Ed, or uh, whatever your name may be, this, come on in now, it's getting late, amen. Uh, when the street lights go out, amen, you got to be in, or you got to be all in, you got to be all in, because the bad things happen uh, after the lights come on, amen. But these days and times, bad things are happening all over, but God has your back. He's got your back. Amen. Are you all in for Jesus Christ? Amen. God say, I'd rather have you hot or cold. If you're hot for him, if you're hot for him, he's pleased and he's glad. And, and if you're cold, well, you're lost anyway. And if you're straddling the fence, man, you better come on and get all in. Amen. You better fall on your knees and ask, Jesus Christ to come into your life. He's there for you. Amen. He told you he'll never leave you or forsake you even till the end of the world. Amen. He'll never leave you. Amen. He tells you to hold fast 
to that profession, when you claim that you, when, when you profess that you are a Christian, a man, you better hold fast to that profession of faith without wavering, without being wishy-washy. Amen. Hallelujah. And he tells us, and let us consider to provoke unto love and to good works. It's all about love. All about love. And let us consider one another. Consider your brother and your sister. It, 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 it ain't about you. Amen. It's not about you. Never has been and never will be. And let us consider to provoke unto love. Let us consider one another. One another. That's your brother and your sister. Amen. To provoke unto love and good works. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, Philippians, the fourth chapter, the 19th verse reads, But my God, my God, if you know him, he's your God also. He's got enough love. He's got enough blessing to go all around this world. Uh, he goes all around this world. Even with all the things that are going on with this virus. Amen. Even these things that are going on, he'll take care of you. Ask him. Touch him. Reach out to him. And he says in 2 Chronicles, 2 Chronicles, Chronicles, the seventh chapter, 14th verse. It reads, if my people, if, he says, if, if my people which are called by my name and shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven. He says, then. But you have to do something first yourself. Uh, we're going through this. I'm going through the same thing that you are. I wear my mask. Amen. But I know God has my back. Amen. And he said, and then I will hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land. Hallelujah. Amen. Woo, God is good. Oh, God is good. Amen. God is so good to us. I'm, I'm grateful and I thank him so much for for, for choosing me. Jesus said, you didn't choose me, Ed. You didn't choose him. He chose you. Amen. He chose you. Hallelujah. Jesus said that you didn't choose him. So some people going through the land talking about, well, I accepted Jesus. Amen. I accepted. Accepted Jesus. They put it on themselves. I. Amen. I accepted Jesus. Jesus said, no. Nah, it's written. It's written. That's what God's word say. He said, you didn't choose me, my son. I chose you. We have to take ourselves out of it. We have to humble our hearts and pray. Amen. And it's so good when Jesus does choose us. Amen. Are you all in out there? Are you all in or are you just playing games? Uh, a lot of people go to events and they meet people and, and they tell, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, my brothers. And they go out and they do the worst thing that they could when they get out of another person's sight. Praise the Lord. You're not in. You're just playing games. Amen. You're just being wishy-washy. You know what wishy-washy is. Amen. <laughs> well, I, I see we got some messages here. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father, for your grace and your mercy. We got some shout-outs here. Hey, my God, I thank you, my brothers and sisters, for calling in so much. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, Ronald Gravely from West Virginia, West Virginia, boy. Linda Corey from West Virginia. We stayed in the same little town and Robert Papa, we called him Jokey. Uh, everybody loved Jokey because Jokey was the man of the day. Shirley Ray, hey Shirley, I love you. God bless you. And my sister, Miss Rosa Monroe in New York from West Virginia. Woo! Uh, there are people calling in from all over around the land. I love you. I thank God so much for you. But 
Seek those things which are above. The things which are above. If you don't know Jesus Christ, amen, if you don't know Jesus Christ, call on him. He's there. You didn't choose him. He chose you. You can't take the credit for, yeah, well, I, yeah, man, I'm a Christian now. You know, I uh, accepted Jesus. You know, like that gives you some kind of uh, uh, self-pride. God can't use you if you got the pride within you. Amen. He cannot use you straddling the fence. You have to be all in. I know what he's done for me. He bought me. He changed me. He did it. Not myself. Because, as you've heard me say, I was on the way to hell and enjoying the trip. Amen. I was having a good time. I thought. I thought. But when Jesus Christ chose me that Saturday night, I was headed to the club, getting ready to go let the good times roll again. Amen. But Jesus came into my life, and he changed my life. And it's about love. God tells us to love him first, you know. Love him first. Give him all the love. Give him the praise and the glory because he's worthy. You say, well, why do we have to praise him? Why? Because he's worthy. That's why you praise him. Because he's worthy. Without him, where would you be? There would be no you. Amen. There would not be a you. Amen. God is worthy. And then he say, love your brother and your sister as you love yourself. You know you love yourself. Amen. We all love ourselves because we want to get self together first so that we can go out to be a blessing to our brother. Amen. To our fellow man. Hallelujah. God is so good. I urge you to please continue to tune in to fellowship with the doorman and those of you out there that have, have not helped us uh, on different programs. Just send us in something. Hallelujah. And, and just let us know. Just call in. I love you. Amen. 6689 Orchard Lake Road, number 293, West Bloomfield, Michigan. 48322. Amen. God is so good. You got to be all in. Amen. You don't want to be all out because if you're all out, you have an eternal problem. Amen. I know myself. Oh, yeah, that's the name of this song. I wouldn't be called dead without Jesus in my life because I'm all in. Amen. You better get all all in if you don't know him. Hallelujah. You better get all in. Thank you, Jesus. Are you all in or are you? Are you out? Woo! Thank you, Jesus, for your grace and your mercy. Woo! I wouldn't be called dead.
I wouldn't be called dead without Jesus in my life because I know that I'm all in. No guessing. Amen. No guessing. They said, well, Ed, how do you know you're saved? Because God has changed me. Amen. I know that I'm all in. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Well, we got a couple more shout outs to Krista Dixon. Hey, my sister, how you doing? Dexter, my main brother. Brother Harry Monroe from West Virginia, from Excelsior. West Virginia, I thank you so much. I, I hope that we had something here today, uh, that God gave me something uh, that, you, that you heard. I know I heard it myself. It just reaffirmed to me that I know that I'm all in, and I'm so grateful and thankful for God. I don't have a doubt. I don't have a doubt. If you have a doubt, you better get to know him. Amen. You better call on him. Call on him because he's there. He's there. Are you all in? God loves you. He loves you. He gave his son for you. Gave his only begotten son. Hallelujah. Gave his... Wow, my son, Anthony Singleton, he's in Houston, Texas. Hey, Anthony. God willing, man, be looking for you next week. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you so much. We praise you, Father. Thank you so much for your grace and your mercy. I love you. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. This is your girl Vicky Winans and you're watching Bell Global Network. My name is Mike Duggan and I'm watching the Bell Global Network. Hey, keep it locked. It's your boy D. Hattie watching the Bell Global Network. You know how it is. Hi, I'm Charlie Langton and you're watching the Bell Global Network. Hi, this is Martha Reeves and you're watching Bell Global Network. <laughs>